Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. That feels like a Monday for me. I don't have much time to intro this video because I'm running late already this morning, but we're gonna do a little week in my life at work. Today is Tuesday. I'm working Tuesday through Friday this week, so I'm gonna go get ready and bring you guys along for the week. Get my morning cup of matcha. The dogs are saying good morning. You know what they say, when it rains, it pours. That's what I feel like is happening to Seth and I right now. In the last couple of weeks, I swear we have had so many repairmen out here. Like our garbage disposal was broken and water was like filling up our sink. And then our water softener wasn't working. And the guy came out here yesterday and was like, oh, everything like looks fine. It should be working. And then he tested our water, but it was very hard. And so we're like, okay, obviously something isn't working. And he was like, well, I think it was just just simple thing essentially that he fixed and this morning when i turn on my water this is what it looks like in the bathroom like brushing my teeth and this water starts coming out that's disgusting i'm like is that is that sewer water i don't know i don't know anything about anything in regards to that type of thing and then when i was drinking my um, matcha this morning i was drinking it on my white couch outside and i spilled it everywhere <laughs> so it it's just been a morning hopefully today at work doesn't go like this hopefully it goes much smoother and i'm just doing my makeup really quickly i probably have a little bit of an updated makeup routine since when you got since i shot the since I showed you guys last, I have been using Typology's um, kind of skincare slash makeup. I use their Tinted Serum, and it's like a vitamin E, or sorry, a vitamin C and aloe vera. And then I'm using their concealer as well that has caffeine in it. Anyway, I'm gonna work with them on TikTok, but I've been using their products for the last month and I really like them. I feel like you're using skincare, but they have this like makeup side to them, so I think that's cool. I usually wet my makeup brush, but I'm not going to do that this morning. Whenever I go back from like my four day weekend, I always wish that I just always had Fridays off or a set schedule. I love having a four day weekend, but I would rather have a three day weekend every week than a four day weekend every other week and a two-day weekend on the alternating weekends if that makes sense because i feel like on my four-day weekends i just come back to an immense amount of clinical inbox work and it makes like my tuesday coming back extremely rushed essentially and i always have a very heavy schedule like tuesdays are the new mondays in healthcare for me at least for the last couple of months that's what it has been i've been doing so much so many patient loads on Tuesday so I don't know maybe that's just my office right now and then for concealer I've been using the OG um, Hydra Organic Sculpted Face Stick in Copper I've been using this for well over a year now I love it great product and I typically go back and forth between the Rare Beauty blush and the Merit blush I'm gonna use the Merit blush today and I'm gonna put the Rare Beauty powder blush happy over top of that just because it has like a little bit of shimmer to it so it acts kind of like a highlighter and a blush so I'm just gonna do that to my eyebrows I use the Anastasia brow freeze gel I don't necessarily recommend this product at first I really liked it and it's not bad but I feel like it does leave a residue on my eyebrows if I accidentally use too much which it's easy to do on this applicator to use too much. I don't like that. And then it will leave like little flecks in my eyebrows. And then I'm, this is my second bottle of this that I've gone through. They're Rare Beauty, Always an Optimist. It is a four in one mist. I use it as a face setter. <laughs> I'm so almost out. That is the makeup. Very natural, pretty, subtle, that's what I like. 
and throwing some scrubs. I have my hair like leftover curl from yesterday. Put some dry shampoo in it and we'll be good to go. This is the new satin that Figs sent me. I don't think I mentioned this to you guys, but Figs reached out to me for Nurses Week last week and asked if they could send me a set of scrubs. And I had no clue what they were going to send. They sent this and these are... <laughs> These pants are kind of cracking me up. I don't know if they're supposed to give off capris. I mean, I did get the petite length, but like <laughs> it's so much ankle that is showing. So I don't know. My husband's asleep, which is why I'm showing you guys my guest room. But I'm trying to decide if I'm going to wear this or if I'm going to put over the actual top on here. This is with the, the um, top on here, which it's fine. It's cute. I will probably wear this just to look because I, I feel like I look like I'm gonna be in clinic today rather than with just this. I feel like I look like I'm about to go to the gym. So I'll probably just wear this. And then they sent me this cute little pager too that says 24 seven, 365. So I thought it was cute. We will wear this today. Still like don't love the pants, but whatever. I have never received more compliments on my scrubs than I have today. I just wanted to let you guys know that. I just wrapped up my workout. I'm only wearing the um, under scrubs. I just switched because it's quite warm today and I like the under scrubs color a lot so I just went with that and it's perfect because it's like chilly in my office. So anyway, everybody on like social media is always asking me to give like a brief review of the types of patients and things that I saw. So I was going to try to go through some of the disease processes that I saw this morning. I saw diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, um, adjusting meds for high blood pressure. I saw uh, diarrhea, abdominal pain as a sick visit. I saw a med refill patient. I saw um, like lab follow-ups with a lot of chronic conditions like um, a history of stroke high cholesterol, high blood pressure, irritable bowel disease. What else did I see? <laughs> There's always so much, which is why I don't do this very often because that's the thing about primary care is it's not one disease process and people don't typically come in with one complaint. They typically have a list of things that they wanna talk to you about. So I feel like that's probably the majority of what I saw this morning. Oh, dizziness positive Romberg's test, some neurological stuff going on. So that was actually kind of my interesting case of this morning. Um, I had a patient who I am ordering imaging of the brain. I'm not concerned for like a CVA or a TIA right now, but um, they're having dizziness and like lightheadedness. Blood pressure is completely normal. Uh, history of vertigo, however, I did a Dick's Hall Pike maneuver today in the office and that was completely negative. And then the gate was, I assessed the person's gate and the gate was off and they had a positive Romberg's test. So at that point, a lot of times I will refer to neurology, but this patient is, um, I hate to say like near and dear, but I, I've taken care of this patient the whole time that I've been here and I've really helped them along the way. So they trust me a lot. So I went ahead and ordered an MRI of the brain. And yeah, I am due to go back to work now. On my lunch break, I booked some Botox patients. I did my actual workout, but I like to like get other stuff done, like emails and stuff like that while I am doing my workout. Just a little tip, multitasking tip. I don't know if it's really great to do that type of thing. I'm just, you know, I'm busy. <laughs> so um, yeah, if any of you guys are wanting to do Botox with me in the Tampa area, let me know what is this person doing and we can book you out i come to you do your botox it's a 50 dollars deposit because i do order the botox on an as needed basis so i don't just have vials that sitting at home because they do expire and then i am currently for the month of may doing a ten dollar a unit which i typically do twelve dollars a unit so you would be getting a good deal it's our summer Botox deal. So you can either shoot me a message on Instagram, TikTok, you can leave a comment on this video and I'll reach out to you and we'll get something set up. So going back for my afternoon patients.
probably why I literally didn't pick up my camera yesterday. This always happens to me. I feel like I get a bunch of clips on one day. I'm so proud of myself for getting those clips like, while working. And then the next day, I get nothing. So today's Thursday. I wasn't filming for TikTok or anything yesterday. I just like literally did not pick up my camera. Um, I got sent some packages yesterday evening that I wanted to show you guys. Um, Toto Cookies sent me so many cookies. We're gonna try them, not right now, like maybe tonight. And give you guys a rating on them. I kind of want to do a video on for TikTok because she was so nice to send me those. They're like a um, plant-based cookie, gluten-free, no artificial sweetener, four grams of fiber for a cookie. They look really good. And then Fabletics sent me some crops, which is just kind of funny to me. Um, I've, I never wear Crocs but I am excited to try. Okay, this is the outfit for the day. I am wearing an Abercrombie cardigan. I have these linked on my like to know it, which is always linked in my description, and then my figs, pants, in mob, and we are ready to go to work. Another day, another dollar, girly. I am considering this being the first car clip of the vlog to mean that this vlog is successful, but I just wrapped up my morning at work and I'm headed to the gym. We're gonna do a back and biceps day and I'm thinking I'm gonna film it for TikTok, so I'll probably put in the clips. You guys can see my little workout, but I had a, a really good morning with my patients. It was a lot of my like regular patients that I see a lot, that I love, like I just adore a, a good like chunk of my patients. I just, I love seeing them, so. Um, that was a nice morning and then I have some errands I need to run I have a princess Polly return I need to do and then I need to mail off my passport for a name change and the last time that I used my passport I just brought my marriage certificate with me because I, I wasn't able to get my name changed I tried and I sent in both my husband's and mine because my husband's needed to be um, renewed and they sent mine back and were like please send this to the correct address i did everything right and they didn't process mine but they processed my husband so anyway i need to do mine again because we're going to europe in a couple of months which i'm so excited for but yeah i need to i filled out paperwork again i have the check i have my marriage license all this stuff i just need to mail it in and then we'll be good on that so i'm thinking i can get that done during my lunch break today we have a full afternoon of patience so I oh, sometimes when I'm over at my other office so I see patients in two office locations but sometimes when I'm over at the other office it can be a little bit slower which I don't necessarily mind especially when my main office is very busy it's nice to come over here and have a break but sometimes too much of a break just makes the day go by so slow so there there needs to be a balance and this morning was a really good balance I have um, a student with me I like it just everything is flowing really well it is unfortunately my new ma's last day she's been with me probably for the last three months she's great she has experience like she knew the charting system she knows how to take a manual blood pressure <laughs> which i know doesn't sound like a lot to ask for but yeah anyway i digress on that so today is unfortunately her last day off to bigger and better things for her so just you know enjoying my last time tomorrow is going to be super hectic i think because there's i think there's four providers at our main office tomorrow which we never have that many providers in one space because it's a small space so i don't know you guys it's going to be a busy day tomorrow so we're just going to enjoy what we have today so i've been thinking about trying these total cookies all day today so you guys are gonna have to watch me film a tiktok because i want to film this for tiktok because i really want to like put her name out there to my audience because she's trying to send me these so behind the scenes video you know okay let's do this i am a cookie hoe like i love cookies okay and toto i think that's how you pronounce it was so nice to send me over a bunch of their a bunch of their plant-based cookie options. So let's try them all together. She sent me their birthday cake cookie. 
Ooh, their double chocolate chip cookie and their sea salt chocolate chip. I'm going to try literally all of them. I think I'm most excited to try the sea salt chocolate chip because you can never go wrong with a chocolate chip cookie. Okay, let's get them all ready. Also love birthday cake cookie. Ooh, okay. Okay, this is the sea salt cookie. It looks like a healthy cookie. Mmm. Ooh, mm. oh my God. I feel like I'm doing a crumble review. That's really good. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet, which I love. And you can definitely taste the sea salt on top. Okay, next up is the double chocolate chip cookie. And these have four grams of fiber each, which is great because I struggle to get in fiber. This is the double chocolate chip cookie. I'll show you guys too. It looks very similar to the sea salt chocolate chip cookie. Very good. It tastes it tastes really similar to the sea salt chocolate chip with chocolate chip cookie without the sea salt on top. It just tastes more chocolatey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. These are good. Last but not least, we're gonna try the birthday cake cookie. This one looks like it has white chocolate chips in it. Yeah. This is what it looks like. Mmm. Mmm. They also each have eight grams of protein, which is really good. Mmm. Wow. I did not think I was gonna love this one because I don't love white chocolate chips. But I think this one is my favorite. That was so good. Mm. Okay, we're going to rank them. Birthday cake is number one for me, but it was honestly a hard tie between birthday cake and sea salt chocolate chip. So I'm gonna give this one, the birthday cake as number one. Sea salt chocolate chip, runner up, number two. And last but not least, double chocolate chip. These were so good, you guys have to try so good so yummy i don't have a discount code or anything that was like just genuinely a reaction like i didn't get paid to say any of that she just asked if she could send me some and like i really like them like i will purchase these again with my own money to be completely honest so that was my true rating like truly birthday cake number one sea salt chocolate chip number two double chocolate chip last like those are so good if you're looking for like a healthy treat at night highly recommend we are going to make some dinner. Seth is playing pickleball with one of his friends. I have FOMO, but I feel like I needed to be like home with my dog. So I think I'm gonna make a pasta recipe for dinner. I saved a pasta recipe that looked really good. I think to my Instagram. Yeah. And it looks really healthy. It is, what is it called? It's called a romesco pasta. It's basically got roasted red peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, extra virgin olive oil, tofu, cashews, tomato paste, like a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna make this. I will, it's called, the recipe is from Make It, Make It Brunch. So yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I've never made one of her recipes before. I think first I need to roast the red peppers. I really don't know how you are supposed to roast red peppers. So I put them all on a tray. I'm gonna pour just like a little bit of olive oil over them and some salt. And put them in the oven and hope for the best. Little update on our kitchen. I think we have finally picked the color cabinets. I think we are going to go with a green on the bottom cabinets. I will show you guys, where's my phone? Um, 
I feel like I have shown you guys like the inspo picks before, but I'll show you guys the inspo picks again. I'm super excited about it. Okay, I love this. If you guys can see, I also love this. Like I love really beachy, coastal. I like light colors. I like it to feel light, but not be all white. Like I like color. Um, so. These are the cabinets that we're going to go with. I'm gonna do two different colored cabinets. I'm gonna do the cloud white on the bottom and the pistachio, sorry, the cloud white on the top and the pistachio green on the bottom. I'm so excited. Our quartz, like our countertop space is going to be a white with a little bit of like gray between it like it's really nothing special the one that i wanted was too expensive we decided not to go with it this is going to be the countertop i don't even know if you guys can really tell the difference but that's going to be the countertop and then the um the flooring is really just going to be like white we're taking out the black and just putting all white but what we are stuck on is the and I have an idea of either just going set, like really neutral again because the bottom cabinets are going to be all colored and doing like a white subway tile which I feel like is pretty timeless or going with some color okay so she sent me over just like a plain white subway tile I guess that looks really boring and plain which is fine or okay i love this is called uh zelige i think she told me zelige i'm not gonna go with the blue obviously because i don't think that will go but i think she was supposed to send me over the green zelige no okay she sent me over blue Not really what i was thinking and then she sent me over these which is originally what we were going to go with but now that we are switching to green cabinets on the bottom i i just don't like it i think it's it's giving bathroom like this would be super cute in a shower that would be so cool in a shower or like um tile on the bathroom or behind a counter in the bathroom but it's not giving kitchen for me and yeah i thought she was sending me over green Yeah, I mean, this is fine. It's nothing special. I don't know, it's fine. <laughs> that was really anticlimactic. I thought she was sending over the green in this Zalige because I want to see if it will look good with the pistachio green countertops or if I just want to go with white. And that helped me zero. Cool. This is the final result of the pasta. Um, I'm gonna be honest, would not recommend the recipe. It's very mid. I'm gonna shower and get in my comfy clothes. I'm really tired. I have one more day left of the week. It's gonna it's gone by like kind of fast but kind of slow, which I feel like is the story of my life as I age. Time flies, but sometimes the days go by slow, which should be good thing because like life. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I'm, I'm too tired to have this conversation. I totally forgot that the new season of Bridgerton came out. And I'm so excited to watch it. I have had literally zero things to watch on television. Except for Survivor. I love Survivor, but it comes out once a week on Wednesdays. And the season isn't... Like, it does. it's not continuous. So, sometimes I literally have nothing to watch. So, I'm going to watch the new season of Bridgerton. I'm excited. I hope it's really good. And I wish that Netflix Netflix was just releasing the whole thing. I hate this two-part thing. That's the whole point of Netflix originally was like to binge watch things, which I love doing. I don't like waiting, so I don't like that, but I'm sure it's going to be really good. I've never seen a season of Bridgerton that wasn't spectacular. <laughs> The coconut water? Yeah, Okay, yeah. Just making some tea. Okay. 
very much a timing game. Like, like I want to not. I love you. Like, I think this is my best friend on this island right now. Here is the matcha. Looks so cute. This week or this morning, who has offered to help me do my devotion in my five minute journal, right? Yeah. Friday evening, I. <laughs> I'm gonna open some PR packages with you guys and show you guys what I got at Sephora on my lunch break today. Me and my coworker, we always do something on Friday when we're working together and we went to Sephora. I bought this off of her because she accidentally bought it and didn't want it, but the poor, the poor professional super setter. I typically use the Rare Beauty one, but I'm out and I needed a new one, so I figured I would just use that. And then she recommended the Pharmacy Clearly Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I love a cleansing balm, so I'm gonna try this out. She really recommended it, like highly recommended it. And then we have some PR packages that I wanna open. Look at these baby scissors that I have in my freaking house. Today was a good day, you guys, but I had a new patient scheduled at 5.45, which Typically, my last new patient of the day is supposed to be five o'clock, but sometimes patients can schedule themselves online. Prescription for fluoxetine for my dog. <laughs> Not a PR package. <laughs> Let's see. What is this? Typology. Oh, I think they sent me their bronzing drops, which I... I'm excited to try. Ooh. Pea peptides castor oil. Oh, for your eyelashes and your eyebrows. Ooh. Castor oil is really good for that type of stuff. Cool. And then they also sent me their bronzing drops. How fun. I'm working with them on TikTok. I've been using their makeup for like a month now. It's not like tech it's makeup but it's also skincare and it, it feels like skincare if you guys can see i'm wearing their products today everything except for their blush and i feel like it gives me like a nice glow but it also gives me the natural look that i really love this video is not sponsored but anyway then ysl sent me some stuff ysl i don't know how i'm on ysl's pr list and i'm i'm grateful don't get me wrong but they send me stuff all the time I need to put stuff away to give away to people because they send me their um, these Love Shine lip glosses, which are amazing. They smell so good, but I think I already have five right now and I don't wear, my camera died, but I don't wear lip gloss that often. So I'm gonna make a PR package. Anyway, my camera is about to die. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna enjoy my weekend off and then we're back to work on Monday, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.